Okay, let's talk about entrances and more advanced features in the entrance uh, section of the program of the WinBid Pro software. So we've got an elevation, three panels. Remember that an entrance is always one panel, no matter if it's a single or a pair. So our program treats any entrance like one panel. So here we have a single door. It's a left hinged door, which is our program uh, uses the terminology of hinging, and a lot of manufacturers will use right handing. So uh, keep in mind that in you know you'll see things in our software that's hinged, and in a catalog or uh, sometimes in a list of parts here you'll see right handed. So just something to be aware of. Now I can edit individual entrances for this specific or for a specific elevation and I can also edit the same exact looking thing in the master list over here. So you can edit like your defaults for your door frames, your defaults for your door leafs uh, over in this main menu or I can click on uh, these buttons here and edit specific parts and settings for this exact elevation and the selected door in it. So, so in this case, if I want to edit door frame parts, I would click this top button. So each of these buttons has kind of a function like that where you can delete them or you can edit them. So I'm going to edit the door frame parts. This window here looks just like the one you would see if you edited a door frame from the master default list. But keep in mind, when you're clicking on it inside the uh, drawing window here, it's just for the elevation that, and the selected door that you're looking at. So you can easily create new uh, door frames and when you do you just type a description much like this and these settings here will help you determine um, or select that later on and also a couple of these settings affect how the uh, the item is is configured or drawn so in this case a frame package pretty much means you've got all your parts uh, all, everything that's needed for this door frame in one part number um, so that's why you see this part number here. The exception would be open back fillers and any stock length material that needs to be cut. And you can add any of those things, even though it says frame package in that first screen, you can add what you need in this screen and it's still going to optimize it for you. So any parts there will show up on the uh, optimizer, but anything in here pretty much will show in the final parts report. So that's how that works. And so you can select uh, an entrance package, which is kind of assuming that the entire entrance, door frame, door leaf, threshold, everything is in one part number. If you do that, you still need to, to have a door leaf selected to add the, the drawing of the door leaf to your uh, elevation, but you could actually have all the part numbers here. So there's kind of a lot of flexibility between having a separate door leaf and door frame because you can mix and match part numbers. Um, stock length would simply mean that you're going to cut the whole door frame uh, out of stock length material, in which case you'd want all your part numbers in this tab here. Closure type, this is mainly to help you select the, the frame that you've created from the list or that's already there. The frame style is important because a frame style, it's, there's a few options here, but a transom frame with a transom header means the transom header that closes the top of the frame uh, is included in the frame package, so it's not going to be optimized with your stock length material. If you do need it to be optimized with your stock length material, that would, is what we call an H-type frame, or a frame, a transom frame without the transom header. So in that case, the program is going to see that setting and use the, f the elevation frame head material to fill the uh, door frame at the top of the opening. And then an up and over, that's pretty much like a punched opening with no transom where uh, it could be stock length, it could be a package, but there's no transom bar at the top, basically. So uh, that's what it's thinking there. Now, these other settings. So the 84-inch door height and the 84-inch, I mean the 36-inch door width. Notice how it says door height and door width. So that's the inside dimension of the frame, not the outside dimension. We tried to keep them the same number so that it's easy to match a 306, 3070 to a door frame to a 3070 door, that kind of thing. Um, so door jam profile is, is inch and three quarter, door heads inch and three quarter, that's how the program is going to draw it for you. So you'll notice if I were to change these uh, s settings here to say 2.5 
and 2.5, then the program is going to draw them so that they're thicker. You can see right away that it thickened those up based compared to the uh, horizontal material. There was already kind of an alternate jam here and things, but it definitely thickened those up right away. So now you can go in and change any of those settings, and that's the whole reason for showing you this is you can tell it you have an 86 inch high door, a 42 inch wide door, uh, you know, and that would make the frame that width on the inside dimension. If there's a transom stop, you can tell it what the profile of that transom stop is. So that would be the, the glass stop that sits on top of the door head if there's no pocket for glass in the bottom of the transom. So you're telling it what the profile of that is. It'll draw it for you. It'll also change the daylight uh, height of the glass there. And it'll apply the standard daylight add to daylight from the framing system, but then you can manipulate that number here by putting an additional amount or even a negative number to subtract from the height of the glass. So if your transom glass isn't coming out the right height, then that's where, this is where you need to look. You can adjust that number. Um, so the other thing is the door hinge. If it's a left hinge door, which is what we see here, uh, that's how it's going to draw it. If it's right hinge, it'll, it'll put the directional arrow the other way. So it says RH in this description, but that is actually um, what the catalog is referring to as a right-handed door. So keep that in mind, and that's how uh, a lot of the manufacturers will do it, but we always call it by the hinge. So let me raise this up a little bit. So now let's look at the door leaf. So let's edit the door leaf. You'll notice this is drawn proportionally, so it looks like a narrow style door, and it has a four inch bottom rail, and I can tell because down here is where that's configured. So it's two and an eighth uh, top rail, two and an eighth styles with a four inch bottom rail. You can change that to whatever you want. Just remember when you do, you have to make sure the part number reflects the correct door. So this is the part number for the door that's showing on the drawing, but if there's any changes to it, we're going to want to edit or change or delete, you know, add to the, the list of parts for the door. And here's the, the height and width dimensions for the door leaf. Those obviously have to match your door frame. So if you change your door frame to 86 by 42, then you'd want to make sure your door leaf matches that. Um, these selections here, with the exception of the, uh, the hinge, that, that will affect how the door is drawn with the directional arrow. But these other ones are mainly for helping you pick it from the list. So that makes it easier for you to select from the list. Um, these final uh, settings over here, these are if you're interested in, in creating or building your own door out of stock length material. So, because that's going to really dial in the sizes of the door styles and uh, top and bottom rail. And you can actually enter your stock length part numbers here. And gasket material, glass stop material, all that can be entered here. So in that case, you would want to set your, your gaps for your size of the door, top and bottom from the threshold, and everything can be set here to get the exact size cuts for your door leaf. And then you've got your glass adjustment here that um, kind of dials in your door glass sizes. So this is independent of the frame system glass. So whatever you need it to be right here is, is uh, the place to set it. So that's pretty much it. And just remember an entrance is a combination of a door leaf and a door frame. So if we click here under entrances, all these are is descriptions. They are descriptions that basically define uh, a selected door frame and door leaf combination. And you can add to that and select whichever combination you want, or you can edit one and change a different leaf. And just make sure your description of the entrance reflects that, and that'll make it easy for you to pick from the list. So that pretty much covers it. and. Uh, be sure to check all our other videos and, and get up to speed on everything else.